<laughs> Welcome to this week's top five for the week of May 12th, 2016. I'm Christina Reese. I'm Christina Rees. I'm Christopher Blay. He's Christopher Blay. He happens to be good friends with somebody named... Frank Artsmarter. Yeah. We're Partner gonna... in crime. Great guy. Yeah. Well, debatable, but yeah. We're going to talk about the Artsmarter Prize uh, in a little bit, so just hang on for that. We're sitting in front of a painting by Isabelle Dutrois. We're at Chris Worley's gallery in Dallas. Um, there will be an Art Smarter event here at Worley's gallery, which, uh, again... On June 3rd. More on, on that 3rd. later. More on that later. Number five this week is Jason Salavon. He's at the Public Trust. The Public Trust is doing this thing. This is the, in Dallas. The soliloquy thing? Yeah, soliloquy. Okay. So soliloquy is uh, it's one main piece in a small space. And I've actually seen this piece. It was down in Houston at Inman's Gallery. This is a Chicago guy. So what he's done is he's taken, I don't know how, with the top 500, 5,000 art entries in Wikipedia. <laughs> nice. I, okay. I like it already. And he's done this, this kind of this algorithmic way of transforming the information on these pages, and it's a live feed, so it changes as even as you're logging into it or as he's logging into it. On this screen, it changes it into color. So depending on the language that's used for each entry, whether it's like White Cube Gallery or Dario Robledo, because right. he also kind of, he skews it towards the market that it's in. Um, the language really changes, the patterns really change. I know that sounds dry, but I've got to say, it's incredibly mesmerizing. It's totally hypnotic stuff. We're looking for patterns all the time, aren't we? And um, he, when he showed it at Inman, he showed it on a screen and the room was had this wraparound wallpaper that was part of the scene as well. I don't know if the public trust will do that with this particular piece. But it's a comment on the way everyone has an idea or opinion about what's going on with the art world and the fact that these entries are changing even as you're looking at them. Right. So number four this week is Matthew Zeffeld. It's circa yes, 12. Matthew Zeffeld. I just walked across this, uh, down the street to check out that show actually and Matthew is still there installing, and I really like the show. I think it has um, the immersive quality that we're talking about, um, like the, the scene in the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his work he's is- he's tiling the floor. He's the tiling walls. the floor that, um, and the, the appearance is a very pixelated, uh, I think it repeats the image of the uh, head of the Herm, which is the, iconic thing that he paints in every one of the paintings in the show. Uh, he, I think he's a California artist that now lives and teaches in Minnesota. In Minnesota. Yeah. I know that Brandon Zeck, our, uh, our intrepid reporter in Houston, is uh, very excited about the show and is planning on coming up to Dallas to see it. This is a product Young's placement eyes. for the, for Chuck and George. I don't know if you can see that. But. So number three this week is in Austin. It's uh, it's a collab project thing. It's a pop-up downtown. It's on Congress, and it's going to be a mural by a collaboration, a paint, painting collaboration called Young Sons between Drew Liverman and Michael Ricciapo, I believe. They call themselves Young Sons. They paint together these big, splashy, super gestural paintings. They're going to do a mural. They're going to be uh, paintings installed inside the... Um, the storefront windows, so I'm not sure that you go into the, the gallery. I think it really is a pop-up by Colab. It's the first time that they've used this space since, I think, East Austin Studio Tour. This is kicking off West Austin Studio Tour, which happens this weekend. So number two this week is called BYOB, Bring Your Own Beamer. It's in Houston. This is a collaboration between Aurora Picture Show and the Manil. Right. But it's kind of this franchise concept that happens in a lot of different cities, kind of like slide, slide luck. luck. I was thinking that. Yeah. So what, the, what happens is, and the applications right now are currently closed, but you can still do a walk-up. It'll be a first come, first serve. But the concept is you bring any kind of projector. It can be slide projector. Super 8. Yep. Anything. And you project images, film, slides, anything onto the side of the Manila. And so it's this evening of looking at people's... Where Beyonce and JC were, uh, what, yesterday? Yeah, it was, ago, it was a couple of days ago. ago. I saw that too. A lot of artists, artists 
are coming out with their stuff, but also, you know, it's open to anyone. The applications were open to anyone, so there should be a melange of craziness on the side of the manila, and it'll be a good party. What other things are open to everyone? How, can, how else can you be an artist at the manila but this way? This is your one opportunity to say, I, like I showed that. something at the manila. I will CV the heck out of that. Mm -hmm. Number one is Rachel Liv Dallin at Aaron Pooley Gallery. And Alice. I think it's going to be a great show. I've seen a couple of the pieces, and Rachel is a Fort Worth resident currently. Um, She's a really good printmaker. Awesome printmaker. A lot of these are going to be works on paper and prints. She does this crazy juxtaposing of classic sort of Greco-Roman yes, images a lot of, with this kind of girliness. Yeah, yeah it definitely has a a strong nod to feminism. It's kind of a witty rewriting of history, of classic history, in this kind of new framework. But it's it's funny. It's funny, but they're actually really beautifully done pieces. Yes. And she just so opened uh, at 500X last week, and she's yes, she's all over the place. Yeah. Prolific Rachel is what they call her. Rachel also happens to have entered the Art Smarter Prize. That's right. I wonder I, what her chances are. I don't know. When will we find out? We'll find out on June 3rd at the Chris Worley Fine Art. Frank Art Smarter has assembled a crack team of jurors, including um, himself mm -hmm. and Danette Dufalo from the Conduit Gallery and Chris Worley from Chris Worley Fine Arts. And they're going to deliberate on the evening of the event and announce the first winner of the inaugural Art Smarter Prize. <laughs> it's a contest. It's what would you do for love? How badly do you want this prize? That's the theme. And we've had some very interesting responses to that theme, all of which will be available. Available to buy, as well as obviously gawk at here right. at Chris Worley's gallery on the. The night bidding out. starts at fifty cents. I don't see how you can lose. And there's a, it may go up into the teens. There's so a really good artist in this. Bring your big wallet in this group. So um, it'll be a fun night. It'll be a party, and um, well, there will be more about that on Glass Tire. So look for that. The eagle has landed. The, between two eagles. Between two eagles.